Hi, welcome to the sixth section, click-through prediction with logistic regression. In this section, we will explain in depth the logistic regression classifier, also concepts such as categorical variable encoding, L1 and L2 regularization, feature selection, online learning, and stochastic gradient descent are detailed. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with one-hot encoding, converting categorical features to numerical. In this video, we will work with an example of one-hot encoding where we will convert categorical features into k-binary features and then into possible numerical values. The simplest solution to transform a categorical feature with k possible values is to map it to a numerical feature with values from 1 to k. For example, tech, fashion, fashion, sports, tech, tech, sports becomes 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 1, 3. However, this will impose an ordinal characteristic, such as sports is greater than tech, and a distance property, such as sports is closer to fashion than to tech. We have seen that Dict Vectorizer from Scikit-Learn provides an efficient solution to the last section. It transforms dictionary objects' categorical feature of value into one-hot encoded vectors. So, let's import Dict Vectorizer. Next, we are going to generate the X dictionary. Now, this is the line of code to initialize the Dict Vectorizer. After that, we will initialize the X encoder. We would pass the X dictionary here. Now let's print it. You can see that the X dictionary is converted to numerical vector. We can also see the mapping by using this line of code. You can see interest tech is marked 2. Occupation as professional is 3. Interest as fashion is 0. Occupation student is marked 5. Interest as sports is 1. And occupation as retired is 4. When it comes to new data, we can transform it by using this code. Create the encoded vector for this. And print it. Here's the encoded vector. We can inversely transform the encoded features back to the original features by simply printing it in this manner. Oops, I misspelled transform. Let me correct it and run again. See, the same vector is displayed here. As for features in the format of string objects, we can use label encoder from scikit-learn to convert a categorical feature to an integer feature with values from 1 to k first, and then convert the integer feature to k-binary encoded features. To do that, first import numpy as np, then create a string vector. So, this is the string object we created. Next, import the label encoder and one hot encoder and initialize the label encoder. Create the numerical value of the string object. This converts the string object to k-binary individual feature first and then to the k-binary encoded feature. Let's print it now. You can see the result here. We have successfully converted string object into integer feature. We will now convert it into k-binary encoded feature. For that, initialize one hot encoder. Create X encoded. And print it. You can see the integer feature is converted into K binary encoded feature. One last thing to note is that if a new category is encountered in new data, it should be ignored. Dict Vectorizer handles this silently. So, create a new dictionary using these lines of code. We have an unknown interest and unknown occupation here. Now let's transform this and print it. You can see unknown interest and unknown occupation is converted as the dict vectorizers handle. 
the category which is not encountered in new data, will be ignored. Unlike Dict Vectorizer, however, Label Encoder does not handle unseen category implicitly. The easiest way to work around this is to convert string data into a dictionary object so as to apply Dict Vectorizer. We first define the transformation function using these lines of code. Next, we will convert the new data and employ dict vectorizer. Let's create a new string first. We will define the columns as interest and occupation. So it's done. Now we encode it and print it. You can see the output here shows how a new string with unknown category and unknown occupation can be converted into new encoded using label encoder and dict vectorizer. That's all about one-hot encoding.